This article is coming from thestreet.com. Bitcoin billionaires are back. And you know they're back when Bitcoin is pumping. They're all back in the news on CNBC, on podcasts. Um, we are truly over the crypto winter. All right, let's get into the article. The silence of Bitcoin billionaires had become deafening in recent months. When we heard them, it was only to defend themselves from being compared to Sam Bankman Fry Freed, the former fallen king of the crypto sphere. The scandals and the fall of cryptocurrency prices since last year had forced Bitcoin evangelists to go quiet. But the silence has just ended. It's even a real fanfare awakening that has just happened thanks to the rebound in Bitcoin prices. Bitcoin is currently trading at 27.7, up 37% in the past seven days, according to data from CoinGecko. Since the outbreak of the banking crisis caused by the sudden collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, the price of the king of cryptocurrencies has even jumped by 41%. So who are those Bitcoin billionaire evangelists? You have Michael Novakratz, who I love, CEO of crypto firm Galaxy Digital. He states the decentralized revolution is happening. This time, this is our time. Let's go team. BTC, let's go. ETH, Ethereum. Now, Galaxy is one of the largest holders of Ethereum. And here was his tweet. Then you got my other boy, billionaire Michael Saylor, who kind of pulled Wall Street folks in to buying cryptocurrencies. He was the first public company to buy a, and buy and buy Bitcoin and hold it on the company's balance sheet. Same story from billionaire Michael Saylor, another crypto evangelist whose firm is the largest company with Bitcoins in its balance sheet. I believe it holds 130,000 Bitcoins. <laughs> Economy Review explaining why Bitcoin is superior to conventional banks, fiat currencies, staking networks, Stable coins and crypto exchanges. How BTC helps defend against asset seizures, inflation, fraud, bank failures, etc. Now, last year or two years ago, he even gave a conference showing companies, large and small, how to go about buying Bitcoin and putting it on its their company's uh, balance sheet. So today we're going to look at MicroStrategy. Again, it holds 132,500 Bitcoins. Valued at under 3.66 billion. Okay, and then you got the Winklevoss twins. 30K Bitcoin by the end of the weekend. <laughs> All right, so let's go and look at MicroStrategy. We're gonna to go to the monthly chart first and uh, this was November of 2020 when Bitcoin went on its run not sure what happened over here but that was back in the dot-com bubble era nevertheless when Bitcoin went on its bull run so did Michael Strategy Went from 170 as high as 1300. Since then, you know, it's kind of it kind of consolidated when Bitcoin hit 50 or so, then went down to 30, then went back up to 64, and then just kind of slowly ebbed down. All right, so Michael Strategy has been range bound since about. May of 2022. Let's go down to the 
and it hasn't gotten above the 13 simple moving average. The last time it was above the moving average was back in November of 2021. So I would say a close, monthly close above the simple moving average would be bullish. You can see you have a kink in the moving average which potentially tells me that we will get a close at some point and we should see the line level out and over time maybe turn back up. That would be bullish. Okay, let's go down to the weekly chart. Yeah, nothing special. We had a false breakout only to see price pull back into the range. I don't see any levels of interest. Let's go to the daily chart. Just pointing out that this was at the end of last year, beginning of this year, 2023, and and uh, you know, MicroStrategy is very, very positively correlated to the price of Bitcoin. There is no spot Bitcoin ETF, and MicroStrategy has been a great substitute for that. One positive note. The decline has decelerated based on the relative strength index moving higher. So that's positive as well. All right, let's go down to the daily chart. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I mean, you do have your moving averages starting to cluster together. Maybe price pulls back. To go long. The yellow line represents the 200 day moving average. The red line represents the 50 day moving average. And we do have a crossover. The golden cross, which is bullish. So there's a lot of positive confluences on the chart of MicroStrategy, although price action isn't quite there yet. This was a nice level to have gone short. My price came back. So I'm going to mark. This will be like a first target. could be a bear trap or a bull trap rather where prices break out only to get rejected We'll see what happens. If we do go into recession, if we do retest the October lows in the broader markets, Bitcoin's going to decline. So is MicroStrategy. 
but if that happens it would just be a great buying opportunity between 120 and 160 thanks for watching subscribe please like the video